same applies to a man who has a business. So you open up a supermarket in the corner there. And what happens? That one starts progressing. And you are having great success in your business. So next thing, there's another corner there. You open another branch. It works. When that one works, you open the third one. Then you start thinking of crossing to another city. Then you start thinking of another country. And if you are sharp enough, you can have something across the globe. Why? Because one worked. The other one worked. And I want to see this whole thing working forever. And I want to progress. But how much money are you going to use in your life? Not even one-tenth of what's going to come out of those shops. Do you agree? Not even one-tenth. A man, for example, earned one billion dollars in his life. What did he spend? A few million, maybe. That's also if he was generous. Some people, the more they have, the stingier they become. One brother told me, I've got a shop in town. You know, when the poor people come, they never ask for a discount. But when a rich man comes, he says, hey, what's your last price? But brother, take a look at that vehicle out there, man. And the other man who came on public transport told me, how much does this cost? He took the money out and carried on. It's the rich sometimes who want more and more discount. Why is it? I don't know. I'm not a rich man, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant barakah to all those who have wealth. Wallahi, it's not a bad thing, but it's just a bigger test. And sometimes fewer people pass the test. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the passing of our tests. So as we would like another branch and make a lot of money, we are only going to spend a fraction. When it comes to knowledge, with time, we will be spending maximum. And if we don't, we are losing. And why I raise this is because one of the points to be mentioned is that we need to gauge our progress. And we will be able to understand how much progress we've made by looking into how well we've implemented what we've learned and how we have benefited others from the knowledge we have achieved. How did you benefit? Don't think, no, I'm just a small toy, you know. I can't give. No. I have seen beggars take out money from their pockets giving other beggars money. And that's when a tear rolled down my cheek. Today when I give one dollar, two dollars to a beggar on the street. I don't know if you have beggars here, but I think every country more or less should be. Uh, you might say, no, they're from outside. But wherever they're from, it's okay. <laughs> it's an opportunity to give wealth. So you see a wealthy man giving five dollars, and then you see that man giving one dollar. Who has given more? Who has given more? Wallahi, percentage-wise, the one from five who gave one has given out 20%. And the one from five million who's given out five has given out naught point naught 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 naught. I don't even know where the one fits in percent. So who gave more? That's why I say you have lots of knowledge. You have a bigger responsibility. Lots of knowledge. You have to share more. You have a bigger responsibility. Percentage wise, what you are giving is very small. But Alhamdulillah, Allah doesn't look at it that way. For as long as you've tried and you've given it maximum, Alhamdulillah. But if you have less knowledge, remember, don't think for a moment I cannot give. Look at that beggar whom I told you moments ago about. He had little bit. He shared it with someone. What about us? We have a little bit of knowledge. Share it with your family.